Yo, what's up, dudes? What's up? So, I don't know if you heard, but they've announced the return of Ronnie James Dio, which I thought was an interesting headline. <laughs> I was like, okay, is this some sort of reanimation? And of sorts it is. The hologram Ronnie James Dio has been announced for a European tour. And I gotta be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about it. At first I was like, no! Since then I'm like, well I suppose it's like any other movie. If they announced a movie for, you know, a film about Ronnie James Dio and you could go to the theater and see it, I suppose it would be the same somewhat. I guess. So I, I, maybe I'm, I'm, my first reaction was just a little too reactionary. But my first reaction was like, no, don't, don't do this. Don't do the hologram. But I think the more I thought about it, it's been five days since it's announced. I've been feeling like maybe a little bit more generous about it. So really what it is, is it's um, not just the hologram technology. Holograms have been around for a long time. Disney has bounced images off uh, glass, so you could see through the glass and it looked like the, you know, there was something out in the middle just floating. There's all kinds of different ways you can make a hologram. They're using, I think, laser technology, and it's a pretty cutting-edge technology. It still looks like a video image, though. And I gotta say, when you look at the the footage of the band, which plays live with Dio, so I mean, how do they do this? It's pretty easy. You find an old audio, you know, that you have associated video with of Ronnie, you know, on tour, and then um, you know you have the band learn the songs as they were done in that live show, and then you know you just have a you know, a backing track, a little click backing track that the drummer sort of cues everyone. I mean, playing to backing tracks, that is down. That technology is down now. It's been going on a good 10 years easily, probably 20 years. But at least a good 10 years where it's been really solid. In-ear technology. I swear it's the, it's the advent of in-ear technology. In-ear headphones, in-ear monitors versus straight-up monitors, uh, you know... And you can hear something that the audience doesn't get to hear. <laughs> so, you know, that coupled with the hologram, and they're like, yeah, we can pull this off, right? We can, we can play a recorded vocal track that's isolated along with this video track that's got Ronnie isolated. The band will sort of, st you know, stand off to the side. And in the middle, there'll be this sort of like Ronnie James Dio show. I have to say, when I've seen you know, footage of Dio's disciples with uh, Ronnie, you know, as the hologram, it sort of looked like them playing along to a movie. Didn't look real. Looked like a video image. Uh, so in that sense, I suppose, it, you know, and they're not fooling anyone. They're not saying it's the real Ronnie James Dio. They're basically saying this is a hologram, Ronnie James Dio. But something just doesn't feel right about it. You know, but I don't know. Who am I to say... Like I said, if it was just a film, if it wasn't this hologram technology, I think we might be a little bit better about it. Um, I'm just reading Loudwire's account of it. They're basically saying, Holy Diver, Rainbow in the Dark, We Rock, King of Rock and Roll, Neon Knights in Heaven and Hell, and Man on the Silver Mountain are the, the tracks like on tap. And depending on how long the show goes, whether it's a... Um, like a 90-minute show or a 60-minute show will depend on how many songs you get. I think if it's like a 90-minute or a two-hour show, or nine, maybe it's a 90-minute show, you get uh, six songs. And if it's a, um, a one-hour show, you get four songs. And then it's like Ripper Owens and uh, Oni Logan, who are going to be the, you know, the other singers um, to join in and, and perform on the dates. And it's basically a European tour. It's, you know, Helsinki, Stockholm, Oslo, Warsaw, Barcelona, Bucharest, Antwerp, uh, Tilburg. So, it, you know, it's a European tour. Uh, it's, you know, this isn't something that's hitting the States. 
I'd love to know your thoughts on it. My initial gut reaction to it was no. But I think as the, uh, the few days have gone by and I thought about it, and I watched the video footage of them playing to it. I mean, it looks a little stupid. I don't think I'd pay uh, money to go see it. I've seen Ronnie James Dio two, maybe three times, definitely twice. I think three times. Um, and every time he was friggin' awesome. <laughs> but I'm lucky. You know, I'm an older guy, uh, you know, who was around when Ronnie was touring. Uh, especially back in the 80s when he was touring with Dio. And it was that whole thing. So, um, anyway, let me know your thoughts uh, down in the comments. Is it cool? Is it disgusting? A lot of people have said it was disgusting. Uh, in the comments, I, I don't know if it was for Loudwire. It might have been for uh, Rolling Stone. A bunch of places had the, um, you know, had the story about five days ago. A lot of people thought it was disgusting. A lot of people thought it was, you know, let the man die, let the man rest in peace. Other people were like, hey, you know, it's just sort of another way to keep Ronnie's memory alive. It's a way to keep, you know, his legacy going. It introduces him to a whole bunch of people in a, a new and unique way. So I don't know. You know, I, I think when I first saw it, my gut feeling was no. And now that I'm five days in, I might be like, well, you know... If it's coupled with a live show and they just sort of do that technology for a couple of songs, but it just feels so fake. It feels so wrong. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. And again, is it any different than going to some sort of a performance art where there's like a live show, you know, sort of mixed in with... Um, you know, a, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, video footage. I mean, that's really not too, too that far out there. And, it, you know, it, it's, video, it's basically video footage, just a new way of displaying it to make it look like it's, like it's an isolated person standing there. I don't know. Thoughts? Let me know. My initial thought, no. And now I'm leaning towards, oh, I don't care. Knock yourself out. <laughs> All right, dudes. There you have it. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. And rock on.